This is a follow-up question of creating characters given root form. Here, the main difference is the read function may be called multiple times. So we can look through the difference in the example here. Uh, in fail, uh, in the fail, we we it contains only three characters. So the first time we call the read function, and what we want is one one character. So we get a. Then the second time we call the read function, what we want is two characters. We get b and c. Then the third time when we call this read function, what we want is one character. However, we have used up all the characters in the file, so here we only return zero. And in example two, it's the same. In the file, it contains only three characters. However, what we want is four characters. So the fail can't meet with the count here, so we only get three characters, which is only how many characters in the fail. And when we call the read function the second time, the all the characters have been used up, so we only got zero here. Well, the key difference between this quest question and the former one is we must start from the unused extra characters in the temporary buffer next time. So uh, the idea is to make a temporary buffer as an instance variable. So we need to define the temporary buffer here. And we can define, sorry, Chinese, a temporary array. Or we can also name it as temp, then neutral. Here we also need to define some variable. The first one is how many characters we read at each time step. So we can initialize it as zero. It defines the characters we read each time. And we also need to define another variable here. Mm, I can give it a name as offset. So we also need initialize it as zero. The offset here means uh, the offset. The offset here means how to update the variable each time. So. We just add an update here. And in the read function, uh, we should also define a variable, which is called char read. And we give zero to it. This is used to define how many characters we have read. Already read. Then we also need to define a boolean function, a boolean variable, which defines, uh, indicates the end of fail. So we can give it name as uf and make it initialize as false and a fail. Then we should go through the fail. Here the condition should be whether the characters we have got is smaller than the characters we want. So here should be char read smaller than the characters we want to read. And whether it is not the end of fail. So not uf because uf is a boolean function. Here we can only write, uh, write like that. Then we also need a conditional block. Here, we not the size. We have already defined as length. Compare length with zero. If they are equals, we need to read something into this variable. So we need to call the read for function here. And 
make this temporary buffer as a parameter, then give it to the length. Well, the other condition here is if the length we read each, uh, this time is smaller than 4, so it is quite similar to the former question we have, uh, I have showed above. We need to compare the characters we read this time with 4. If it is smaller than it, it means we have read up all the characters in the file. So here we need to change the end of file to true. Then I will define another variable here and make it as count. The count should be the length mean because uh, this function we need to call many times. This result, this result we need to call many times, so we just give it to a variable here. And what we want to compare is how many characters we still need to read and how many characters we currently read. So the characters we still need to read is a minor third character we already read here. And how many characters we read this time is the variable we already defined as length. So next time we need to do every copy. Call the system every copy function. This function I have already explained last time. The first parameter indicates the source. The second one is the start of the source, start position of the source. And the third one should be the target. And the fourth parameter here should be the start of the target. And the last parameter here should be length. So what we want to do is copy the temporary buffer array to the buff array. So here uh, we need to put the temporary buff buffer array here and uh, the start point should be offset. And we copy it to buff array and the start point should be the character we already read. And the copy length is the count here. Then we need to change the offset each time because uh, we should start from the unused extra characters. This is a key point of this question. And I should put it here, start from the unused uh, extra characters. So we need to update the offset each time. The offset should be the offset itself plus the count. This count should be the, the, the smaller one among the, car the character between the character we already read and the character we read each time. So we also need to do a remainder here by four. Then we also need to update the length each time. The length should be minus the count here. And the character we already read should, be, uh, should also be updated. And here we should plus count each time. Then we finish this function, but we need to return an integer at the end of this function. So what we need to return is a character we already read. So we return cherry here. Then we can run this function. Oh, sorry. We should initialize as four to define how many characters can can be read each time. So it should be four, and then we submit it. Okay, we did it. Thanks for listening.